video and welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews. Let's drink a beer, shall we? Let's drink another sour. And that's what we've got this time. This is from uh, Thoughtful Forager. This is a 5% mango sour. Um, explanation if you don't know how Thoughtful Forager work. They take beers from around the UK that are best in class. So they'll work with Siva to get the really, really best products. Um, and they rebottle it, uh, rename it, and they redistribute it, and they just get it out to market. I think the advantage behind the uh, brewers is that they tend to be smaller brewers that um, maybe don't have the distribution. So I wouldn't have seen this probably without Thoughtful Forager getting getting themselves behind it. So, uh, like I say, it's sparkling mango sour. It's actually originally brewed by a company called Elwood and Sons in uh, Whiz Beach in, in Cambridgeshire. They call it uh, Cool Ship Mango when they do it. So if you're down there, Cool Ship Mango, you, you know it's going to be this one. I think, um, uh, I knew it was going to be lively. I did have a little look at the best before that. I've had this in for a while, uh, being honest. Um, and it is past its best before, best before September 2021. So uh, I knew that was going to be a little bit lively actually. Uh, yeah, I think they, they mature it for 12 months. Now I paid from Thoughtful Forage, I just paid 84p for this. It is sparkling, I'll give it that. There's plenty of sparkle behind that. Um, somebody asked me, because I, uh, I was explaining at work that I was doing some um, uh, doing some reviews about on sours and somebody asked uh, what uh, foods to pair sours with. Ooh, that's nice. Um, spicy and dry food, I think. I think spicy and dry food goes well with sour beers. There you go. Um, so that has poured clear, that has poured without a head, but that could be because it's way past its best before. Like, I've had this before. Um, this isn't a virgin drink of this. I had three bottles of this. This is the last one I've got. This is the last one I've got. Um, but I forgot to review it on the, on the channel, which is why I'm doing it now. So that's poured a dark amber clear. Um, it normally just pour with the head. There it is. Right, let's get the aroma, shall we? Lots of mango. Mango and peach, actually. Honestly, you just get mango and peach coming through on this, on the aroma. It is quite a nice um, aroma beer. Uh, taste test. Cheers everybody. Tell you what, it's well past its best before day. It, um, it opened very lively, but I have to say the flavour is still there. It's cracking that. Mango and peach coming through quite nicely on that one. Um, it's got a nice, it is, it's a nice fresh fruit flavour that, that comes through. And it is quite drying at the back end. That tartness comes through quite well. Not overly tangy, um, not overly tart, not overly sour. It's nice and gentle. It's a light bodied, as you can see, um, light bodied beer. And I have to say, it's 5%, so it's essential anyway, but like most hours, you, you'd never know there's any alcohol in there at all. Um, it tastes just like a sparkling um, juice, which is what a lot of the sours do anyway. It's nice. I, I, I like this. I like the way it is very, very fresh fruit feeling. That light carbonation is really nice in the mouth. Help pushing those flavours around. And there's a nice sweetness coming from those fruits as well. And I think in this one in particular, it's those. That sweetness from the fruit that is hiding some of that sourness. Sourness is there, 
but that sweetness is there as well. And I think that sweetness is cutting through and, and overtaking the sourness. So now it's, it is just a lovely sparkling, as you said on the label, lovely sparkling mango sour. Um, I like it. I do like it. I'm going to score that 7.5 out of 10. 7.5 out of 10 from Andy's Beard Reviews. Until the next one. Cheers everybody.